It's a celebration of life and focuses on building a stronger community. Mm -hmm. Kwanzaa begins on Saturday, December 26th. Now to give us a little history of the celebration and how you can get your family involved, mm -hmm. we've got Raven Cook joining us. Hey Raven. Good morning. Hi, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Of course, happy holidays. Yeah. Happy holidays, well. Raven. Or during Kwanzaa, Habari Ghani, is that right? That's right, Habari Ghani. <laughs> That's right on. Okay. Give us a little background on Kwanzaa. Yeah, so Kwanzaa was birthed, uh, the, the, it's a cultural holiday that was birthed in the Black Power movement, that era, so the late 1960s. Um, and it's founded by um, a man named Dr. Mulana Karenga, who wanted to connect black people to um, their ancestral identity being African peoples, but also acknowledge um, our uh, work here in the United States, thinking of our history. So it really is a holiday that thinks about the past, our, our history as black people, but also the present ways that we can move forward as a community and our future about our children. How will our children move forward in this world? And I think this year, um, all that we've experienced, it's really important to celebrate Kwanzaa and something that can really be reflective and beautiful. So yeah, it's a little bit about Kwanzaa. Yeah, absolutely. And for you guys at home, you were just looking at some previous Kwanzaa right. uh, celebrations from around the country. Now we know the holiday has seven principles. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through those, Raven? Yeah, of course. So the first principle is Umoja, which means unity. Um, and every day, let me first say, every day um, you'll have greeting, as you mentioned, Jacqueline, Habari Ghani. So um, when you interact with individuals, uh, you'll say Habari Ghani and they'll give you the principle. So if I were to see you, Jacqueline, on the street or Jason, and you said Habari Ghani, I would reply, oh. so giving you that kind of call and response, which is a part of our history as Black Americans, is really, uh, really rich and part of um, that cultural week celebration but the seven principles include unity which means umoja and these are swahili words um, and they're part of the ngozu saba the ngozu saba are the seven principles so you got umoja unity to strive for and maintain unity in the family community nation and race you've got kuji chagulia which is my personal favorite which means self-determination to define our set for ourselves name ourselves speak for ourselves instead of being defined and spoken for by others. Um, Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility. Ujama, which is cooperative economics to build and maintain our own stores, shops and other businesses and to profit from them. So you really have this emphasis on black businesses by black. You might have heard that all through the year, which is critical. Um, and then you've got Nia, which is purpose um, to make our collective vocation and building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. So once again, you get that echo of past, present, and future, right? And then you've got Kayumba, which means creativity, another one of my favorites since I work in the arts, to do always as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. And the last one is Imani, which is faith. Um, to believe with all our heart in our parents, our teachers, our leaders, our people, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. So really, these seven principles are really beautiful and really just, they're, they're just like a love letter to Black America. It's really beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Raven, thank you so much for, for the education. history of that. We'll make sure our viewers have information on how they can practice each yeah. principle during Kwanzaa, which kicks off on Saturday and goes through New Year's Day. Thank you so much, Raven. Thanks, Raven. You're most welcome. Y'all have a great day. You, you too. too. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, for sure.